Welcome back, citizens one and all. Welcome back to more Coral Island. It's been a while and there has been a patch, so we're going to do another part of top five things I wish I knew sooner. So follow me and we'll get started. All right, number one is going to be take your hoe to the beach, your um, farming hoe. Charge it all the way up and just start hitting the sand here. And what we are after is a new item. Not books, although that is new as well. That uh, sound effect is, but we are looking for fossils, so bear with me as we find one. Maybe even two or three. There we go. We got two fossils. So you can now find those since the patch. Let's carry on to the next part. All right, number two. Let's go into the lab here. Go for it. number two. There is the shop in here, and you can now process fossil remains. You'll get random things and potentially sometime, sometimes some actual fossils that time. We got nothing good. That's going to be the only way really to get bones right now. The fossils can also be found in the cave and underwater, but I have had the best luck putting them like that on the beach. Number three, there's been a lot of UI changes here, so let's look through. Mastery has changed and for now stops at level five. Uh, there's some updates to townspeople. It says who's single and who's not. And there's also now this find button, so you can always find them on the map. Then town rank is a new menu here. It shows you what you need to do to get rank up. Let's see. We'll need to track that right now. Crafting is a little bit different. You can craft from anywhere. As long as you're, like, on your farm, you can craft. Well, you're literally, literally from anywhere, apparently. Okay. As long as you have the stuff in your storage on your farm, you can craft from, like, practically anywhere. Craziness. I didn't know that it was anywhere. I thought it was only on the farm. That's perfect. Awesome. So, great UI updates, great quality of life changes. Let's carry on to the next part. Alright, number four, and this is a great change. You can now buy seedlings for trees, which is very cool. There are four total. There's dragon fruit, rambutan, banana, and there's one more hiding in here somewhere. There is a fourth, but I don't think it's part of summer, so we will not talk about that currently. But let's go to the farm and plant these. I'll see you all there in a minute. All right, let's, uh, let's set up what we need to. So one, two, three... Or, in fact, let's just be lazy and do this. Then it takes a two by two space and you plant the trees. And then, eventually, they'll just be ready to go and they'll look much larger like these over here. And these are still not ready, but they should produce pretty soon. So, I love it. I love the trees. Great addition to the game. Let's carry on. All right, and last but not least, number five, and you're going to want to head back to the beach shack and go on in as soon as they are open for the day. They've got some changes here. They have the improved fishing pole, which was the old one, and now they have the quality fishing pole. Then they have improved bug net and quality bug net. They also sell bait, which you can craft with spider legs if you want, but I typically just buy it here. So get the quality fishing pole and the quality bug net, and that will vastly improve your ability to catch fish and bugs. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this was top five things I wish I knew sooner about Coral Island. Y'all take care. Please do like, subscribe, and continue to enjoy Coral Island.